William Throsby Bridges was born on the 18th of February 1861. He was appointed as a lieutenant in the New South Wales Artillery on the 19th of May 1885. He was 54 years old when he was shot at Gallipoli. Located on the grounds of the Royal Military College Duntroon, General Bridges' grave is the only consecrated grave on Australian Defence Force soil. Why is this individual so significant? Bridges was instrumental in establishing the Royal Military College Duntroon, which opened on the 27th of June 1911. He was the first Commandant of the Royal Military College. General Bridges commanded the 1st Division of the Australian Imperial Force from its inception. He was the first Australian Army General. Bridges was not popular amongst his troops and was described as reserved, stern, abrupt and aloof. On the 25th of April 1915, the 1st Division was the first Australian unit ashore at Gallipoli. In battle, Bridges was admired for his intelligence, devotion to duty and composure under pressure. He placed his men first, was fearless in action and held little regard for his own safety. In the Monash Valley on the 15th of May 1915, General Bridges was shot by a Turkish sniper. He was transported to the hospital ship HMHS Gascoigne with severe damage to both his right femoral artery and vein. Unfit for amputation, gangrene set in and General Bridges died at sea on the 18th of May 1915. He was the first Australian general to be killed in action. The day prior to his death, he was knighted for distinguished service in the field. He was the first Australian general to receive a knighthood. Originally buried with full military honours in Alexandria, Egypt, his body was later exhumed and returned to Melbourne. He is the only known Australian war dead to be returned from World War I. On the 2nd of September 1915, a state funeral service was held in Melbourne. The following day, his coffin was received at St John the Baptist Church in Canberra for a further service. As Chopin's funeral march was played, a gun carriage laden with his coffin was escorted from the church up the dirt track that would in future become Anzac Parade and through the grounds of the Royal Military College to his final resting place. Witnessed by his family, peers and the dignitaries of a nation, General Bridges was buried on the hillside at Mount Pleasant overlooking the Royal Military College he helped to establish.